Time now for the Executive Edge. 2019 could be a big one for IPOs. Among the names expected to go public as soon as the first half of the year are Uber, Lyft, Pinterest, and Slack. Mm. It finally happens. Wow. And New York City's real estate market is under uh, pressure, major pressure. A new report from Warburg Realty uh, estimates that home prices have dropped somewhere between 10 and 20 percent after peaking. Uh, in 2015, Warburg says that sellers are offering steeper discounts on their homes, adding the market may not bottom out for months. The minimum wage will rise in about 20 states and two dozen cities starting tomorrow. Among the more notable hikes, you have a dollar an hour increase in Massachusetts, in Maine, and in California for businesses with more than 25 workers. For the last decade, the federal minimum wage has been set at $7.25 an hour. After the latest increases, 20 states will have levels that are above that. Yeah, 15, New York City, I think. Yeah, 15, and, and in California, is it 16, or am I making yeah, it Yeah, no, it's, I think it's, it's higher in California. Yeah, yeah always California and uh, Manhattan. Or, or maybe it's uh, was it Seattle? Seattle. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say Seattle. They were like the first to go uh, years ago. Uh, utility giant PG&E, speaking of California, could face criminal charges as serious as murder. California's attorney general says the company must prove it did not cause any of the recent deadly wildfires or it could face charges. A U.S. district judge ordered the investigation last month and documents obtained by CNBC. PG&E acknowledged its equipment may have sparked the campfire in Northern California. That fire killed at least 88 people and destroyed nearly 14,000 homes.